pork oil. Let's take a look. Ow! Son of a nutcracker. So, two different kinds of fork oil. Uh, this is Honda's High Performance HP, whatever, five weight. And this is Maxima Blue Label, five weight. Um, let's take a look at the numbers for these. Try to figure out which one's better. I know this is a total snake oil thing. So everybody has their preference and a bazillion reasons for it. Um, but let's look at some of the data that has been put up on the net about them and see if we can decide which is a suitable one to use. Uh, one of the things I need to do is I need to know the specific gravity of this um, in order to be able to perform some suspension analysis on it. Um, so I don't have that off the net anywhere, so I'm just going to do it myself. Pretty easy. i got a graduated cylinder, 250 cc's or milliliters of oil, uh, plunker on the scale. Oh, guess what? you got to turn it on first. Turn the scale on. Da -da, let it boot up. Great. Plunk that on the scale. Uh, 286, and I know that graduated cylinder weighs 78, so the specific gravity is... Uh, I'll put it right there. Okay, let's first look at the Honda Pro HP 5 weight oil. Um, the viscosity index is, uh, the higher the number, the better the oil is, is it at remaining stable over wide temperatures. Um, so this Honda Pro fork oil 5 weight has a viscosity index of 140 and 115. And you can see here, it's like, wow, there's some stuff in here that's way higher. Interesting, interesting. Um, 140 is what they report. 115 is what we calculated in this sheet, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, um, why do we want that stability? Well, because we want consistent performance out of our forks or shocks over the full range of temperatures so that halfway through a race your forks don't start flaking out on you after it gets heated. So that's the Honda, 140 and 115. Um, yeah, interesting these other guys. Anyway, so that's that one. Now well, let's take a look at the Maxima here. So on the Maxima, um, report is 150, but um, the calculated weight is 98, so not as good as the Honda. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so that's cool. That's whatever. Um, let's take a look. I want to run these through Restacker and see how it changes the response in Restacker. So we'll take a look at that here in a sec. Okay, I've got the Honda oil programmed into Restacker, and I'm running it against a model for a set of KYB SSS forks that I've been working on. And you can see here that I've got my average zeta. Is this going to work here? I've got my average zeta. Um, and it's uh, nice and flat, right? And that's an that important thing to look for. Down here over on the rebound damping ratio area, I'm close to my bottom target. And I'm just on my top target. And then with my wheel bottoming force here, um, we can see that I'm kind of level from the compression over to the wheel rebound. Okay, I'm going to program in the maximal oil and see if there's any change to this. Okay, I programmed in the maximal oil and then I've run it through the restocker modeling again. And you can see here there is, come on you, no change in that rebound response. Nothing there. My lower target and my upper target, they're the same. Over here, my targets here for the um, compression and then the rebound, the same. Um, as far as modeling goes, no difference whatsoever. So there you go. Use either one. I don't care. Um, don't forget to subscribe. I'll put it right up here in the corner. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And um, yeah, leave your comments. Nothing better than a good old fashioned uh, oil debate. Talk to you later. Bye now.